Hi everyone, it's Emma, I'm back again and today I have for you the Malloy, I think it's pronounced, Flex Bag. Now this is a new brand to me um, and there's not a huge amount of information out there which kind of intrigued me. Um, they're a Turkish brand and I think they've got, they use Italian leather. Um, I first heard about them because I follow um, Tanner Leatherstein on, on YouTube, I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but basically he He'll often take designer bags, um, take them apart and assesses the leather and he actually rated the leather on these bags quite highly um, along with Loewe, which is why if you've looked at my previous videos you'll see why I enjoy them so much. Um, so I got this on the pre-loved market um, just to see what the, what the style was like, um, what the quality was like and I have to say I'm actually quite impressed with it so far. So this is the um, Malloy Flex, it is quite an unusual shape as you can see, um, so it's got a, a leather outer and it's quite a structured bag which I was a little bit nervous of I'll be honest, because um, I, I wondered if it would wear well and if it would be comfortable, but I've been, I had it out all day today and I have to say it actually fits on the arm very nicely, so it only has one large shoulder strap as you can see um, and it's a beautiful soft leather. Um, but it actually it's incredibly comfortable to wear, um, I've been really enjoying it. Um, the, as I say, this is a slightly older model, the newer one, so it just has like a single leather strap here. So the newer model actually has a hook on the end which you can, you can kind of reduce down and it means that you can hold the bag similar to a webby hammock in some respects um, and it kind of gives it this more sort of pyramid shape. When you're when you're holding it, if you had it as a top handle, I mean, personally, I'd never wear it that way. Um, I'd only ever wear it as a as a shoulder strap. I just feel it's quite inconvenient that way. Um, but yeah, I, it's I, I have to agree with him. The leather is really nice on this bag, um, and I feel size wise, it's just perfect for everyday goods. Um, and it fits a really decent amount of stuff. In fact, <laughs> I've been using this bag today, so I'll show you what I've got inside. So I've got my emergency medication, I've got my purse, I've got my phone, some keys, some hand cream. I did have my hand sanitizer in here and I actually managed to even fit a Chili's water bottle as well. Um, so it fits a decent amount of stuff and I personally haven't found it affects the function of the bag or how it sits. It still sits really well whether it's full or, or empty. Um, I'll get rid of this and I'll show you the interior of the bag. Uh, so the interior is quite spacious. I don't know if this will show very well. Can you see? Yeah, that's better. So it's kind of got a cotton inner. There is some suede. So this is a suede lining up the top. And then the inner is a cotton, cotton lining. Um, and it's got one sort of small pocket here. And then you've got the Malloy. I don't know if you can really make that out. It's quite tricky to see. Um, and then you've got the Malloy label inside just in here. Um, but it's a, like I was saying, it's a decent space. The cons I've found while using this bag is that actually, as you can maybe see, zipping it up again can be quite fiddly um, just because of the way the fabric sits. Like, I mean, it's, it's fairly easy to do. I just feel there's a little resistance when you're trying to zip it, but it does have a very good quality zip. Um, other cons are when I took this out for lunch, you know, as you come along, you've got it on your shoulder. When you go to put it on a, a seat next to you, because it's so structured, it, I feel like it takes up a lot of space. Um, for instance, like my Bayes water, um, my, well, obviously the Nano's not gonna take up a huge amount of space, but my other bags, my medium sized bags, I feel they just sit nicer. This is always going to just fall to the side. Um, so I guess if you had one of those bag hooks, that might be quite nice. So you could hang it from the table, but then because it goes into that sort of pyramid shape, I feel like there's just no way to make it sit nice <laughs> to sit nicely. That was my major con and I also think that over time these like the points on the bag are going to seriously get some wear. Um, just because of the the bag is so structured. I think that with time it's gonna wear. I mean we'll we'll see. I feel like it's it's doing okay 
at the moment it's just a, a thought I had with it being so structured but certainly like the leather strap like it's it's a lovely leather it, it does feel like it'll last and um, now what does this this retails what did I see it I think it retails at about 500 pounds which I think is especially in the market at the moment like some of the handbags currently are like insane pricing wise like thousands and thousands of pounds um I think for a bag that's kind of got some Luebi vibes a little bit unique um they also do dupes for the puzzle bag um, I'll, I'll put the the website in the description box so you can have a little look and see what else they offer and um, they have some really nice sort of color variations they no longer I don't think they do the gray anymore but I was actually interested in the black and the white but they'd all sold out um, but they do some super cute pastel colors um, and a lot of the time like the different sort of triangles will be in the variety of shades um, I definitely think this is a brand one to watch um, I'm going to see what else they bring out in future. I think they might, I, I, yeah, I think they'll become more popular as time goes on and people start learning about the brand. Just with their price points and stuff, I think they're, they're very reasonable for the quality. Um, yeah, I, I've enjoyed using this bag so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.